other thing to keep in mind, if we run into, since it's such a gorgeous thing, I would mount mine you know, personally, but whenever you mount it, this is just a pet peeve. This is just Mark talking. We often see people mount swords and walls hung with the blade down. And then we think about that with blade down, if we're looking for quick access, let's say this is over the bed, it's in the house, intruder hits the house, and you've got to not, you've got, you reach for it and you've got time to stalk, you've got time to turn this over in your hand. But if we're talking a quick slap and go, whenever I hit this and pull it off the wall, I'm pulling this off in spine back blade position. So if you think about turning the, this blade up on all of your mounts, so when you slap your hand on it, your hand is already slapped into position to flow and go at that particular time. So whenever uh, you see a blade mounted down, looks great, but uh, I'm gonna tell the rest of the world uh, they're, they're wrong. Turn your blade up. Uh, thoughts on mounting it. If you're going to mount it within the scabbard or even out of the scabbard, uh, there's a tendency when you look at people uh, mount swords, you're going to see them mounted gorgeously as such with the blade side down in that way because I mean, it, it just has a better, more pleasing aesthetic look to it. But if we were talking about if you are someone who's uh, paranoid and thinking about what if in the midst of everything I got to reach up and grab this thing and go to work and sometimes you don't always have your eyes on it because usually if someone's attacking you there's a tendency to look at like the gentleman right here but David behind the camera if he's attacking me there's and I know the scabbard is over here there's a tendency in the midst of stress I'm going to look at the guy I'm afraid of and that's David right now so I'm going to look at him but I'm going to go ah! and then reach up and find and lay my hand on this nice and beautifully. So what I'm going to tell you is to, if you were thinking pragmatically, I'm not here to, for home decor and changing your house up, you're actually going to mount this, we'll leave this out of it now, with the blade up. So whenever you're laying your hand on it, you're already in your grip position to pull this out. So if I am right-handed, whatever facing wall I've got it on, I know I'm going to have it. Uh, blade up in a particular position, left hand is going to switch it down. But we'll see if I'm reaching up to it in the blade down position, I have to lay my hand against that flat of the wall, bring it out, do some discombobulation to get this blade back into working position, or else I'm working just with the spine of this. I'm just basically hacking at them with a the dull piece of steel at that point. So blade up for decorative mounting if you also have some pragmatics in your mind, but I get the impulse to want to turn it down and conform to what the rest of the world does when they're doing it wrong. So uh, those are my thoughts. Hey gang, quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight ending moves that I'm not able to share with you here on the YouTube platform. They're too ugly, too vicious, and quite honestly, too lethal. YouTube simply doesn't want this kind of material on their site. I can't blame them. This stuff is pretty rough, but when the shit hits the fan and your life is on the line, you're gonna need something truly nasty to end a fight in just a matter of seconds. This lethal training is yours free. Just click on the link below and it'll take you to the site so you can get your free video right now. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.